guys, Balkan Arctic here, and when it comes to Revit beginners, one of the most common questions is how do you rotate views in Revit? So uh, most Revit users are come from AutoCAD or some sort of A2D drafting software like that. And when it comes to working in AutoCAD, rotating views is, well, it's quite simple. You just select and you rotate and you're done. Well, in Revit, it's a bit more complex because Revit tends to have a mind of its own, or actually it's just a, a different system. So uh, as soon as you understand how it works, it's really simple and it can be way more efficient than working with any other drafting software. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to rotate views in Revit and uh, how to rotate different types of views for different applications. Now, if you're a Revit beginner uh, and if you're interested in completely learning Revit and how to start working and completing your own complex projects in Revit, I have a whole course on that topic. It's a 16-hour beginner to intermediate course and it's available on my website, balkanarchitect.com. Uh, it's going to be the first link in the description of this video. Uh, also, if you're interested in my Revit project files, check out my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description of this video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into Revit and let's start uh, rotating those views. So let's go. So here we are in Revit and this is the building that I'm going to be using for uh, this demonstration. It's just a simple brick uh, house. Okay, so when it comes to rotating views, it's a bit more complicated than just selecting something and rotating, and you have to understand how Revit tends to look at your views and at your whole uh, project orientation. Uh, so here we have uh, some floor plans, and then we also have the site plan. Now these are uh, different. So usually you're going to present uh, the site plan uh, where the building is going to be rotating according to its uh, well, orientation in a space. So uh, usually your building is, is really rarely going to be like this, uh, just vertical from uh, north to south. Usually it's going to be kind of, uh, it's going to have some sort of an angle. Now, uh, in most cases for your site plan, uh, what people tend to add is the north arrow symbol. And I'm going to do that in this project because it's going to make it easier uh, later on. So. Uh, let's go here to the annotate tab and then for the symbol, so here the last panel is the symbol panel, we go to the symbol tool and uh, one of the options that they loaded in is the uh, north arrow one, this is the north arrow family and then I can just place it like this. Okay, I'm going to hit the escape key a couple of times and this is just an annotation element which helps us uh, orient ourselves in space. And then of course it's never again as I said it's going to be straight up so let's go to rotate and let's then rotate that a little bit like this. Let's go with 33 degrees. Okay, so uh, now what do you do when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to your uh, project orientation and how does this work? So for your site plan, you want that to be angled like that, that your north arrow is facing up and then your building is going to be at an whichever angle uh, that's going to be at. Uh, and that's going to be set up at your true north. Now your floor plans, on the other hand, they're going to be set up at a project north. So that's whatever orientation works best for you. So in this case, uh, it's oriented like this. Later on, I'm going to show you how to change the orientation. But for now, let's just uh, leave it like this. But the most important thing is to note that here uh, in the properties, so for this level one view, the orientation is set to project north instead of true north. Now your site plan in most cases should be set up instead of uh, project north to true north. Now once you make that setting now we have to kind of uh, rotate our project so it truly faces uh, north. So how do you do that? Well it's quite simple actually. Here uh, in the middle we have the project base point and I'm just going to move that out of the way. Uh, oops, let's go back select that project base point, unclip it first, and then you can kind of move it out of the way, place it there, and then we can clip it back in place. And here we have our uh, survey point as well, we can clip it or unclip it. So anyways, uh, what you can do here is to go to your uh, manage tab, and then on the manage tab we have the project location. So for the project location we have uh, the uh, position and then we have the rotate true north. Now this tool will allow you to rotate the true north of your uh, 
project. So it's going to rotate our project so it's facing true north and our north arrow it will be facing up. So when you select that, as you can see, you get this little kind of and uh, basically a rotate option, uh, but it's placed over here and we have this little blue dot in the middle. Now you can select that blue dot and you can place it wherever you want and I like to place it here on the north arrow. So now what I like to do is uh, just to come over here to the uh, project and just go at the angle of the north arrow and then you just want to kind of fix it up. So just go make sure to rotate it up. And then as you can see the whole project will kind of or rotate around and now our north arrow is facing up and we have the true north orientation here in our uh, in our site plan. Now if we go back into level 1 as you can see nothing has really changed here in level 1 but if we decide to change orientation here and if we change this to true north it's going to go like this. So that's of course not what we want to have. We want to go back here to uh, project north. Now uh, also uh, what we might want to do in this case is to maybe change the orientation of this particular view because as you can see Revit has kind of a uh, wide screen uh, uh, view for your modeling and this is a quite a vertical building so it would make sense uh, to have it horizontally sitting here so you can kind of zoom in a bit more and have more of the building in view. So what you can do in that case is go here to the properties panel, scroll down a little bit and make sure to uh, to go to extents and turn on the crop view and the crop region visible. This will give you kind of the, the crop view for your view. You can crop it if you want, you don't have to. In this case I'm going to crop it just a little bit. But now when you select that crop view you can go to rotate, you get your basic rotate tool and then if I rotate this by the value of 90 degrees as you can see, now it's horizontal, and now I can continue working on this. Now, keep in mind that we did this with level 1. If I go here to level 2, level 2 has basically stayed the same. So, it's not going to affect other views if you rotate the orientation of your view. Uh, so, this one has been kind of set up to be horizontal. We can do the same thing for level 2, but of course, we don't have to. Uh, and then of course as you can see now if we zoom in the whole building is in view and it's a bit easier to work with. Again if we go back to site plan, site plan is back at this orientation. Of course you can go back to site plan, scroll up a little bit, find true north and set it to project north and that's going to kind of bring it back to the original view but actually I want true north, I, I prefer having my site plan set up at the true north so I'm just going to uh, leave it at that. And of course, just so I don't leave this a bit confusing, uh, when you rotate your views, you can rotate it at any angle. It doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle. You can have it at 30 degrees or something like that and it's still uh, going to work. Uh, now also, if you go and add some text, so if we go here to annotate and decide to add some text here, so just some uh, basic text, if I decide to rotate this again, at a weird angle, that text will of course rotate with it. So uh, text is not going to kind of adapt to your rotation of the view, it's always going to stay the same. Uh, it's always going to kind of follow the view. The only thing that is going to stay the same, that's going to be your crop view. So here, as you can see, the crop view is always going to have horizontal and vertical lines. It's always going to be a, uh, a rectangle that's kind of upright. Uh, so just keep that in mind, it might look weird a little bit, but you won't have the ability to kind of rotate that crop view around. The only thing that you maybe will have the ability to do is to go here into edit crop and then you get these lines that are kind of those uh, lines that we can edit in Revit, those purple boundary lines. Uh, and then uh, what we can do in this case is maybe use pick lines. So what I would do is maybe given, uh, give myself an offset of maybe, I'm not sure what are the units here, so let's see. Okay, so this is in centimeters. So I would go to uh, offset and give it an offset of maybe 300 centimeters and then go to each edge of this building, kind of like this. There we go, one more. Oops. There we go. So once you go to uh, once you get to the each edge of this building, uh, what you can do is use the trim and extend tool to trim and extend this just 
like that to get that crop view all around. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then uh, for this outline you can just hover over one of the lines, hit the tab key uh, just once and it's going to kind of create a full selection, the whole chain. Hit delete and then it's done. So if we hit finish, as you can see this is what your uh, crop view is going to look like. So you can adapt that but it's not going to do that kind of naturally by itself. You have to use the uh, edit crop tool and kind of play around a little bit, kind of hack it around and find the best solution for your problem. Okay, so that's, that's uh, pretty much everything that there is to know about uh, rotating uh, or orienting views in Revit and of course the difference between True North and uh, Project North in Revit. So uh, that's what this tutorial was all about. Thank you for watching and again if you're interested in some of uh, my courses either a complete beginner to intermediate 16 hour course which will teach you how to complete projects on your own it's available on my website balkanarctic.com the first link in the description of this video uh, or if you're interested in all of my project files like this example building that I have been using, you can also find that uh, on my uh, Patreon, which is going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, quick little tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.